the last couple days I've been in Mount Rainier National Park. More of a road trip with friends than a dedicated photography trip, but of course I got my cameras with me. It's been raining pretty much nonstop uh, since we got into Washington the last few days. It's been beautiful. It's a nice retreat from the hot weather in Utah and nice and cool here. But that of course means all the, the top of the mountain, Mount Rainier, it's all spinning clouds for days. So the viewpoints are kind of, it's not much of a view because you can't see anything. So we've been just trying to, you know, take up our time, checking out all the small waterfalls, roadside and stuff. There was a lot of snow and rain this last year in Mount Rainier. So there's a ton of runoff water and the waterfalls are really full, beautiful. And yeah, it's, it's fantastic being here. The trip hasn't been without its challenges. So this morning my 5D Mark IV took a swim in the river, so that's out of commission. But thankfully I brought my Bronica uh, 6x6 medium format camera with me. So shooting with that instead, which is good. I was kind of hoping to get some film shot anyway. It's a bummer about the camera, but I just gotta keep going. But with any luck, uh, one of these days we're here, this rain will let up a little bit so we can get some viewpoints. And if not, then I'll just shoot little intimate scenes with the 6x6 instead, I guess. Just make the best of what we got. For life of me, I cannot remember the name of this river, so I just put it on screen. But it's the main river crossing you do, to do on the way to Carter Falls, where the log bridge is. There's a bunch of atmosphere in the valley here with all the clouds and fog. It's actually raining right now, so I had to hurry up and pack things up before I got the Bronica wet too. I already killed one camera, but it was just a classic shot, shooting upstream of the river, looking at the valley view. You'd normally have Mount Rainier in the background there, but it's completely engulfed in clouds, so you can't see it. But that one was F8, uh, 1 over 60. I'm shooting a Kodak E100 on these right now. And with any luck, that'll turn out uh, going for more of a moody kind of cast. Uh, and I got lots of mood, so hopefully that turns out. Rainier never really did come out of the clouds during the handful of days we spent in the area, but the cool and rainy weather made the cabin we stayed at outside the park all the more cozy. Although there was one afternoon that we thought we were going to get a view, but the best I got was a look at one of the glacier runs on the side of the mountain. So I set up with my 70 to 200 and played around with framing the glacier along with some of the cloud action. It maybe wasn't the best photo, but I tried a black and white conversion and I think I liked it a little bit better with it being just a little bit more abstract. I wasn't really bothered that there weren't going to be any grand vista views to shoot, since I often find I can make the best of it by just picking out little details with a longer lens. And the rain, overcast, and atmosphere were absolutely perfect for shooting waterfalls. By staying flexible and adapting to the conditions, I captured a really moody and atmospheric photo of Christine Falls. And although you wouldn't even know that there's a sleepy 14,000 foot stratovolcano towering into the clouds above it. This ended up being my favorite photo from the entire trip. In case you were wondering about my 5D Mark IV that fell in the river, 
It still works just fine. So shout out to Canon for their weather sealing. So that's going to do it for me. Just a quick one, going over some of the photos I took while on vacation. Although short, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And maybe while you're down there, you consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.